You'd never say hi. I tell you, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow, but she scared me. But you seem nice, so did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly! We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Boole right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Trees? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Boole. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh, you don't want to stay in the PIC? Listen, I don't blame you. Hi! Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a Senior League membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh, no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Do you need help getting out of there? No, I put myself in here. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, accidents happen. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snouts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. I need help fighting Maligula. Ah! You need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen, Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future Maligula battles for everyone's protection. Everyone's protection. 
I need a senior league membership card. What? Well, well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Boole. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off! Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Fool. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Hi! I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh. Hi! Ow! Oops! Sorry, little brother. I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, Crazy! <laughs> Am I doing the pose right? I'm trying to place my fingers on my temple like my son does, but... Huh. He should be the one imitating you, sir. What? Oh, no. I don't want to hurt any feelings here. I can already tell that you are the most powerful psychic in your family. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Maybe if I got to do more practice. Man. This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. It's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side blasted a squirrel, Nature Boy? Uh. That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals, and there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. <laughs> no, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now... Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't give badges for. It's so 
spooky. There's probably nothing interesting. Oh! Great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe? Ooh, I got three. Even better. Not so fast. Lizzie? I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. 